Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. So I recently did a video on the new Milwaukee Tools 3H Drive right angle impact that just came out. And I did a couple of videos on it. One, just demonstrating the tool in general, you know, uh, debuting it. And in the second video, I compared it to the 3H Drive extended reach ratchet because a viewer asked, you know, which one would be better for. So I also, a viewer also asked, would the stubby impact be better or would it be better to get the uh, right angle? So just like I did in the last video, I will put these two tools to work side by side. That way you can determine which one of these is the best tool for you. So stay tuned for that. Side-by-side -side comparisons to the 3H stubby and the 3H right angle impact. The right angle impact is about two inches shorter than the stubby. The stubby is about five inches in total length. The stubby impact has 250 foot-pounds of torque both ways. The right angle impact has 220 foot-pounds reverse and 200 foot-pounds in tightening. So what we have here is a Mercedes and we're taking the motor mount out. I'm trying to use the stubby here to get to that top bolt. And as you can see, the stubby impact will not fit in any way, shape or form. Cannot get it in there. Now, because the right angle impact was two inches shorter, I was able to get it in there and it had enough power to remove the, the nut. In this next application, we're taking off some 10 millimeter bolts off this little heat shield here. Neither tool had a problem taking these fasteners off but it was a little bit more comfortable using the stubby impact versus the right angle impact. It's a little bit more strain on the wrist to hold it out to the side like this, and I had a little bit more control with the stubby. On the bottom side of this motor mount bolt here, I had the choice of sticking the stubby impact through, a, the, through the frame here to get to the fastener. And because the stubby was a little bit too long, it risked getting stuck or jammed at the bottom there, so I did not use that technique. So what I had to do was use a long extension going through the frame to get to the fasteners and take those off. Now the right angle impact, it'll fit right through here a lot easier because I have that two inch smaller head and I was able to get these fasteners off with no problem. Here I am using it on a brake caliper bolt, uh, the stubby impact, and it has pretty much enough power to take off just about every uh, caliper bracket that I've run across. Uh, the right angle occasionally will come across where you can't get this fastener off that that 30 pounds less torque makes a big difference. In this application, it did take the fastener off, but as you can see, it hammered a few more times than the stubby impact did. So in this application here, I'm taking off a shock bolt here. I had to use a long extension to reach up in here to get to these uh, fasteners. I'm using the, uh, the stubby first here. They had no problem removing these fasteners at all. Also, there was very little strain on my wrist when I was doing this and it was easy to get the tool up in here and get to those fasteners. And I felt like I was in complete control of the tool. Here I am running that uh, bolt back in and I was in complete control. It was really easy for me to reach up there and start and take these fasteners off. Now, when I did the right angle impact, it had no problem taking the fastener off, but as you can see, my hand is extended out to the side and it put a little bit of stress on my wrist. It was a little harder to get the, uh, the head of the, the socket on the fastener, a little less control. I was a little more clumsy. Next up, I took a wheel bearing off on this Honda here. First thing I had to do was take the brake caliper off. I took the whole caliper bracket and caliper off as one assembly. As you can see here, the uh, stubby impact is right up against the spring. I almost got it stuck with the uh, right angle on the bottom bolt, took it off no problem, and there was plenty of clearance. Now, when it came to taking the fasteners off for the wheel bearing, the right angle impact had a lot more room to get in there and get to it. There was a couple bolts where neither tool would work. I had to use a hand tool. So tell me in the description, in your opinion, which was the better tool and which one would you like to own? So if you like the right angle impact or the stubby, I will leave links for it down in the description of the video. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.